So guys, I was browsing Twitter yesterday and I, I came across this drama around Susan Calloway and you might not know who she is, okay? But trust me, you want to watch this video. Even you're maybe not a Final Fantasy fan, like this story is, is insane, okay? Now just as a bit of background, Susan Calloway is a singer and songwriter. She's strongly connected to the Final Fantasy franchise, okay? Because she performed following songs. You can see here, there's a wiki page for the following songs for the games. She travels to the fan fests and performs there, meets with the fans. So she is a beloved member of the Final Fantasy community. Okay, now you may know or not know this, but the Final Fantasy community has a strong overlap in some regards with the LGBTQ and the gay and trans community, you know, because cosplaying and cross-dressing and, you know, it is there, there are these overlaps. Of course, not the whole Final Fantasy community falls into that gap, but there is an overlap between these communities. Now, just yesterday, people started to point out on Twitter that Susan Calloway liked some tweets on Twitter that are very right-leaning and anti-trans, okay? And this happened earlier in the year. You can see the tweet here. This is by a user called Fallacy. I'm sorry for being cynical, but I can't assume Susan Calloway has been hacked if she likes tweets like this since the beginning of this year. And here we see one tweet, not exaggerating, not hyperbole. This is just sick, evil, and disgusting. And you can see she liked it, right? It's in her likes list. And it relates to a tweet by End Wokeness. Okay, so you can, you know, we are all familiar with that account. You can 89% assume that whatever is said here is taken out of context, is not correct, has been construed to feed their little, you know, trans people want to murder all the children narrative, which by the way, has kind of now moved on. We, we've kind of passed that now. Nobody talks about it that much anymore. But at that time, you can see the date, March earlier this year, that was the big hype, right? Oh God, the trans people want to kill all the poor children. So she liked the reply to that. She also liked this one. Everything the woke people do is backwards. <laughs> I just have a hard time imagining that a person who's a singer, a songwriter, who's traveled, you know, who's probably not completely stupid, looks at a tweet like this and goes, yeah, let, let me like this. I mean, the tweet says nothing. Right, like the woke people, it's all backwards. It just really feels like whoever smashed that like button, uh, which which you should do on this video, by the way, smash the like button, was kind of agreeing with the sentiment, right? These crazy woke people. Uh, here's another example of uh, tweets that she liked. You know the brainwashing is real when white people start protesting white people for being white. So the typical, the poor white people, white people victim complex, you know, we, we are the real victims here. You got to check it out how, how poor all the white people are and how mistreated we are. And then people started to investigate and they found out that she also follows people like uh, Jordan Peterson, allegedly uh, on Instagram and so on, and a few more accounts that I'm not familiar with, but that apparently are falling into the same gap, right-leaning transphobic content. Now, Susan Calloway at the time denied all allegations. Okay, she released this statement. I haven't seen it myself but I assume this is real on her uh, account on Twitter, saying, guys, it appears my account was hacked. I haven't been on Twitter that much as I've been working quite a bit. I love you all dearly and I'm firmly against hate of any kind. What is going on in our world grieves me. I pray for peace for all, that we would choose love over hate, okay? And I'm also not saying that I did not smash those like buttons on those tweets. I'm not explicitly saying this, but I pray for love and not hate. Look, she's denying the allegations. I don't know if she smashed the like buttons, but her coming forward and saying, yeah, brah, my account was hacked and people have been smashing like, that's what the hacker does. He does nothing else on my account. He just smashes like buttons <laughs> on really transphobic and anti-woke content because that's what hackers do. All of us probably have one or the other hacker in our accounts that just smashes random like buttons on content that we really don't want to like. And then later people are gonna, it's like, it's absurd. It's absurd that she's kind of trying to get away with it by saying she's been hacked. And it already had consequences in the real world. Like for example, KupoCon, a Final Fantasy fan fest has uh, sent this tweet saying, today has been a troubling day for the Final Fantasy community. In light of recent events, we announce that Susan Calloway will no longer be attending our upcoming event in Toronto. We will do our utmost to secure another guest in time for her, but they canceled her. They're like, bro, we don't want you here anymore. They looked at the evidence <laughs> on the table, right? And they said, no, you haven't been hacked. That makes absolutely no sense. And her saying that she hasn't been on Twitter a lot and, you know, all that, been traveling so much is also kind of debunked because people have shared, like, images where she is tweeting, you know, regularly retweeting other events or, like, posts of events where she might be participating, even sharing images of her in the way, like, I can't wait to perform with you guys tonight. It's like, you, you know, it's like, that's not a Twitter user who's very rarely on Twitter. At least it doesn't feel like it. Again, I don't know her. She may have actually been hacked at this point. I'm not saying it's not true, but, it, dude, it doesn't look good from my observational point of view over here. <laughs> but it gets better. 
it gets much better because Susan Calloway, and this is really, really the heart, the beautiful heart of the story, has a community manager, okay? I've been following this community manager on Twitter for some time, for several years, in fact. And uh, I've been watching some of his Final Fantasy streams throughout the lockdown and all that stuff. So I know kind of who the guy is. And with all due respect, I would not make him community manager of my community. He's a nice guy, don't get me wrong. Just like, not, maybe not, anyway. Let's see how he reacted, right? So here he is, community manager. This news breaks. People put forward these allegations against Susan Calloway saying, look, what she liked and stuff. There has been not much communication behind the scenes. Okay, so here is the community manager, Leon, the Lord of the Revel, saying to let everyone know with what happened with Susan Calloway on social media. I am personally writing a statement on behalf of Susan to explain that these are not her views. If anyone has questions, you know, you can DM me. It's like, it's like wait, what? She can't write a statement herself? Like, you write a statement on behalf of her to explain that these are not her views? <laughs> He's like, I'm working on the statement right now. I haven't spoken to her yet, but I'm working up this statement, okay? Clearly, this guy, at this point, was in complete panic mode, right? And he does in the streams, personally. Just from my naive personal observation of watching his streams, looks like a guy who might get very nervous over something, gets very panicky over something like this, right? Because normally what you do, if you're a community manager for a personality and news like that breaks, then th the strategy has to be to hold back. Okay, You hold back, you don't reply to anyone, you agree on a message and on a road forward first, like how do you communicate, what is the tone of voice? And once that's all agreed, then you move forward and you, you communicate collectively what you, you know, instead of going out and replying to every single person, who's out there, <laughs> which is kind of what he did. And like, you guys can DM me. I'm, I'm happy to assist. It's just so funny to see. Also, his grammar is just like so shamelessly bad. He's just missing words left and right. I'm reading it as it's written here, okay? As community manager Susan Calloway, I am contacting Susan directly. I assure all who have commentated that these are not Susan's views whatsoever. Please do DM me screenshots. I will deal with this matter personally, guys. All right, at this point, I'm dealing with this matter personally. As Susan's community manager, I'm here to assure that recent posts and comments are not Susan's. Of that, she does not have any anti-trans views. Okay. <laughs> of that, she does not have. So he kept defending her before anyone was agreed, and he even got snappy at some of the fans trying to question what happened. So he said, what part of community manager don't you understand? I've been working with Susan since 2019. This is not my first rodeo, and it will not be my last. Of that, I assure you. And yes, it does fall to me to make a statement on behalf of Susan because it's in my job description, okay? So he goes into these, these insane debates with people. And I love that at 3.20 p.m. he says, this is not my first rodeo, and it will not be my last. Of that, I assure you. At 7.06 p.m., so a few hours later, he says, I've lost my position I've worked hard for. I have lost more than people actually realize. There will be no statement. I've been advised not to make one and I've lost something I treasured and meant the world to me. And no, I will not talk on the matter. He then continues to talk on the matter in two more tweets right underneath. <laughs> Dude, it's just gold. We could see him gambling away his community manager job right in front of our eyes. Susan Calloway's account, obviously, in the meantime, has been deleted. It doesn't exist anymore. Now, I don't know if she deleted it to underline her I got hacked narrative. Maybe it actually got hacked, right? I'm not here saying it didn't get hacked. She definitely hit those like buttons. <sighs> Look. It doesn't look good from an outsider's perspective, but I don't know, and I'm not here to tell you what the ultimate truth is. Unfortunately, it seems like Leon, the Lord of the Revel, is not available for an interview, to put this matter right, all right? <laughs> because he says, no, I will not talk on the matter. We're done. We're done with this. And so is Leon with his community manager job. But hey, you know, keep your head up high. There might be another chance. I messed up in jobs before. I'm not saying, haha, look at the guy he failed in this job. You know, I think everyone failed at some point at some job but yeah that was not good that was not a good job at managing this community in this moment of crisis <laughs> anyway guys that's the story i think it's it's interesting it's funny and i can already see the comments right people are like well what are you saying bro what the woman should be cancelled over liking two tweets here yeah? said her first come fascism bro it's so fascist it's like no 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 dude she didn't get cancelled for liking two tweets she liked those tweets and that's an expression of what she finds funny 
maybe, right? Maybe she found that tweet in that moment funny and that tells us something about who the person is. I don't like tweets like that. You know, like you will never find a dumb tweet like that liked in my profile. So she allegedly told the world what she likes, you know, what she finds interesting and, and funny maybe with those tweets and then the world reacted. That's called consequences. Also, she didn't even make the point to say, well, no, I didn't like those tweets. You know, she's just like, um, uh, I got hacked. Whatever that means. She kept it obscure. Now the account is deleted. So let's see where it goes. <laughs> it is such a dumb story. Jesus Christ. Anyway, if you have some unique insight on it, please leave any thoughts that you have down in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. I would appreciate that. You can also join our discord community the link to that is down in the description i'm hanging out there lots of other people hang out there i'd love to see you there we don't have a real final fantasy community so if you're part of the final fantasy community it's time to head over to our discord and be the founder the founding father or mother of the final fantasy community on our discord i hope to see you in the next video again subscribe smash like take care of yourselves and i'm out bye